Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how to do double crochet ribbing. Here uh, I already have a uh, first row of double crochet done. Uh, this is just simple double crochet. Any even number will work. I have 16. Let's 16 double crochet or any even number for the first row. Uh, turn your work. For the second row, chain one, won't count it as a stitch. Yarn over and we will have double crochet on the first stitch. We'll be doing half double crochet in the first and the last stitch just for the edges. Uh, ribbing is done by alternating front post double crochet and back post double crochet. First will be front post. Yarn over. Uh, post stitches are called so because they are done around the post. Of the stitches below and not on the top of them. Front post is done like this. Uh, insert your hook from front to back and from back to front around the post of next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up 32 and 32. Back post double crochet, yarn over. We are going around the post of next stitch, but from the back. We yarn over now. We insert the hook. Have to flip out. Look, look at the back of it. This is our next stitch. We are inserting the hook. From back, this is the back of our work, from back to front and from front to back, around the post of this stitch, now yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and finish, sorry, finish double crochet, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Next will be front post double crochet again. Yarn over, insert your hook from front to back, and again from back to front around the post of this stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and complete double crochet as usual. Pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Next stitch will be again back post double crochet. Yarn over, flip your work, put back so you could see. Insert your hook. This is our next stitch. Insert your hook from back to front and front to back around this post of it, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we already have these ridges appearing. Front post stitches, and on the back, these are our back post stitches. When we place this stitch in uh, around the post, it will make these ridges, makes raised stitches. Let's continue. Next one will be again from post. Yarn over, 
Insert your hook front to back, back to front. Yarn over, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next one, back post double crochet, yarn over. Uh, this is our next stitch. We insert hook from, I'll show you from this side. Back to front, from front to back, yarn over, pull up loop, oops, sorry, back to front, front to back, yarn over, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through. Let's make two more together. Yarn over, front post double crochet, to back around the post, yarn over, and now complete double crochet as usual. Yarn over and pull through two loops twice. Now back post double crochet goes in next stitch, yarn over. Let's see from this side, going from back to front, around the post, front to back, yarn over, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let me finish the row and I will be back with you. Here I'm back. I completed this second row and I placed half double crochet in the last stitch. Mm. I'm placing half double crochet in, in the end, beginning and the end, on the edges, um, to make all the stitches even because uh, post stitches post uh, back post and front post double crochet are shorter than regular double crochet so the ends are half double crochet now let's turn our work and continue on our ribbing I will chain one I won't count it as a stitch yarn over and I'm going to place half double crochet here in the beginning the first stitch now this uh, stitch is raised. This was our back post double crochet that uh, to keep it raised like this, we will be placing front post double crochet in it. So we're basically repeating our second row. So yarn over, insert your hook. And front to back around this front post of this stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops so now we already can see the ribbing appearing now back post double crochet yarn over we'll be placing our stitch around the post of this stitch there it is it was front post on that side it was front post double crochet it is raised from here on this side so we will be placing back post double crochet in it insert your hook now from back to front and front to back around the post of the stitch yarn over pull up loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops now 
Now this ridge is getting taller on this side. Let's continue. Yarn over. We'll be placing front post double crochet here. back post double crochet and next stitch and we are repeating the same front post back post front post back post so when we see this raised stitch that's where front post double crochet goes let's raise on this side where our that's where our back post double crochet goes let me finish this row and we'll be back here I'm almost at the end of the third row and I'm going to place half double crochet in the last stitch see how the mm, post stitches are shorter because they're placed lower than usual stitches not on, on the top of it but lower around the post that's where they start that's why they're shorter and that's why I put shorter stitches half double crochet for the edges if I want to keep a row even so here we have three rows base row which is just simple double crochet second row which was front post back post front post back post and half double crochet for edges and the third row that we just completed so uh, from, from now we have one row repeat which is a double crochet for edges and the repeat is front post back post front post back post double crochet and that is it we already can see that ridges up here this this is our one by one ribbing and from now we'll be working the same so it is a um, from now it's just one row repeat the same Half double crochet, chicken chain one, half double crochet in the um, first stitch and front post double crochet in the next stitch. And back post double crochet. And back post double crochet in next stitch and continue the same front post back post front post back post double crochet and half double crochet in the end in the last stitch and that's it thank you very much for watching